Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Max, and today I will be showing you how to build an 1800 steam train. Now before we start it, be sure that you like and subscribe, and check out my Patreon page for the schematic download. And a huge thank you to Move at Doofa for providing me with a Create or Holly Smart Pack for this build. If you want the best Create experience with a little touch of magic, Create Oholics is the perfect mod pack for you. The link will be down in the description. Alright, let's create a new train. We'll place down the first bogey. And we'll place a deep slate back for 9 blocks. And for the back wheel, I will go with the leaf spring style. Metal girders on the front. And use a crimp side for the pilot. This will be the piston housing. We we'll have two drive wheels using a flywheel. Right here will be a cab platform. So let's go with the boiler base first. Also a foot plate. I will make it wider near the firebox. And here comes the boiler. Adding a placard on the front. And I have a sharp as a pipe running along the boiler. Now let's make the trains whistle. And a steam dome. Make it wider with the panels. We have a bell and then smokestack. And of course a headlight. Now let's replicate all of that onto the other side. And next, the cab. We'll make a wall with the panels. Then adding a textures. A polished deep slate slab on the top. Copy cap panels on the side. And a deep slate tiles texture. Placing down the controls and seeds. A bit of valves and a hand crank near the firebox. And some decorations. Close the top off a bit with the panels. Alright, the locomotive's all done. Now we need a tender. Let's cover the holes on the floor just a bit. And we're coupling the loco and tender together. And 
Next is this. A coupling in the back. The tender bed will mostly be a polished deep slate slabs. But I will also add some shops and brackets near the bogey. And on this level will be industrial iron. A chisel deep slate. And a copy cat panels on the side. Easing the shape with more panels in the back. And fill out the bunker with coal. Let's add some wooden foot plate on the coupler. And the nameplate on the side. We can use the frame sign and buttons with the brass textures. Make sure you do that on the other side. Then we can go on to the carriages. We use a passenger bogey. Nailing the stairs on the side here with the railings. And place the lock back for 11 blocks. Then replicate the front. We can probably change this to basin. And we're starting the wall with a double framed panel. And the top of the roof will be a polished deep slate which most of it would be a frame slabs. And on the side is going to be a deep slate tiles. and making a curve with the carpet cat steps. And the other side. We also need to place more slab underneath the top one. Alright, now let's finish the wall. We're sure gonna use a lot of copy cat panels. Now let's add in the texture, starting from the bottoms up. Red concrete panels on this level. A dark oak window of the other blocks. Smooth red concrete and a chisel deep slate on the top. Adding it onto the frame panels as well. Now we just have to do a wall on this side. I 
adding a bit of detail with the grab rails and lamps. Small ventilation on the roof. And adding a wood texture of the interior wall. Alright, before we go any further, I'm gonna make the same car for another two more. And here they are. Let's start in the back. We're gonna make this car first class. I'm gonna use a brass door. A few brass textures onto the ceiling. And the rest will be a dark oak. Placing brass funnels between the stairs. And the panels on the wall. And a dark oak plank ties for the texture. We're going to place the red carpet on the aisle. And a red seat in each windows. A dark oak trap doors for the backrest. Alright, that is all for the first class. And this car will be a second class. For this, the ceiling will be a polished limestone. And instead, we're using andesite funnels. For the wall panels, will be a dark oak plank beams. A normal spruce trapdoor will do for the backrest. Now we're done with the passenger coaches. In this car will be a post office. But first we're gonna do some adjustment. Closing off a few windows. I'll be adding a few shafts and brackets for decoration.
and a wall shelves for all the posts. And of course, a working table. We can use the panels for the shelf as well. With the texture, we'll need an all game bookshelf from the ship mod. and some storage locker above the windows. And here I will make the rack for hanging the mailbags. I suppose we better change these to metal girders. Let's place down the book to make it look like a meal. And that is all for the interior. Now let's go glue the train. Don't forget to break the planks. Make sure that the glue is not intersecting. Alright, let's assemble. And there we go. Thank you all so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the build, and as always, if you are interested in getting a schematic download, the link to my Patreon will be down in the description. And huge thank you to my lovely Patreon to all your support, and thank you again to Move for Doofa for providing me with a great of Smart Pack. Have a nice day to you all, and I'll see you in the next one.